Greetings, my name is Mandy Young. I am an eco-psychologist. My passion is taking people on wilderness encounters to gain life-changing insights from nature. As we're not able to travel at the moment, uh, we are hosting weekly wilderness webinars. The focus today was wild men, wild women, and wild dogs. Um, a cutting edge way of being cooperative um, and winning the competition. So in our webinar today, um, the wild dogs or painted hunting dogs, as I often prefer to call them, are an exciting pack animal to observe. If you've ever had the privilege to be out on safari with them, they have a great playful energy and enjoy greeting other, each other with mouthed kisses. That's one of their ways of saying, hey, you're our family, let's hang out together. They're not only cooperative hunters, but breeders and feeders as well. They submit all their celebrated individual idiosyncrasies to the well-being of the pack. So if you want to reflect on what enhances teamwork, they are certainly an inspiration. Did you know that the origin of the word competition actually means to strive together? And as we observe the African wild dogs, we can learn how each individual working together enables the pack to perform extraordinary feats. For example, capturing a kudu. This is an incredible feat because when you consider that a single wild dog weighs about 25 kilograms, and a female kudu about 170 kilograms, being able to combine together to take down such a large prey is incredible. So they challenge the charring competitive spirit of let's exploit someone weaker so I can be stronger, or I can get more attention or more uh, social media or TV media presence. Instead, they encourage the community or team connectivity that embraces the mindset, you are because I am. The wild dog pups from a, form a strong bond with their fellow pack members from the moment they're born by eating, playing, and even sleeping as one unified pack. This is worth emulating to be a successful sporting team. It's worth developing friendships and relationships of trust that extend beyond the match day. I know of many rugby players who are still friends 40 years after initially playing together as a competitive team. In the section of video footage that we chose for our weekly wilderness webinar today, and I will provide you with the link, we focused on a wild dog hunting strategy called the trap. Um, this particular pack of wild dogs hail from Shishliom Filozi Game Reserve in KwaZulu-Natal in South Africa. They are a pack of eight adults and many newly born pups, so there are many mouths to feed. While the puppy sitter stayed behind to protect the pups, the other seven adults head out to hunt. The terrain they choose is dense bush and the particular prey they're seeking is a male nyala bull, a sizable foe. Their strategy is to send out a scout or forerunner to find the prey and flush him out, while the rest of the team wait in formation in a well-formed line that will capture the fleeing prey like a net. The scout is initially disadvantaged by being colorblind, as he's unable to see the prey standing very still in the shadows of the tree. He is undeterred though and uses his sense of smell with his, when his skillful sight is compromised. So the professional understanding for a sporting team is that each individual has a role to play. When performing that action, the player has more than one skill he can call upon. The mindset is not to give up if one course of action is not available, but to be resourceful and use other tactics instead. The Nyale is alerted to the presence of the wild dog scout by a colleague sharing his terrain. It's a vervet monkey who chatters agitatedly from the tallest branch to his own clan that a dangerous predator is snooping around. The Nyala moves to escape and is spotted. The scout now, the wild dog scout, now changes roles and becomes the driver of the hunt with the prey now in sight. 
Again, here we see the wisdom of an individual in a team having versatility and being able to adapt to the right movement when the opportunity presents itself. However, he's unable to bring down the nyala on his own. So the other team members need to be alert, aware, and adapt too. Otherwise, the change in direction could cost them the pursuit of their goal. Fortunately for the pursuing wild dog, his teammates have heard the change of direction. Wild dogs have amazing antenna-like ears that are rotated like large sonar dishes by 19 well-trained muscles. The strategy line of wild dogs moves left to capture the fleeing prey. Two of the dogs heard the change and the other four dogs aligned their bodies to their teammates' change of direction. It is this their experience at hunting together that makes this magically connected movement possible. There can be many times in sporting competitions where the opposition can choose an unexpected tactic. The ability of the opposing team to adjust accordingly can turn potential defeat into victory or lose them the game. It's a split second decision dependent not only on hours of self-disciplined physical preparation, but also practice after practice that brings a knowing of each other that builds bonds that flow intuitively. The Nyala is caught, the goal is achieved. All team members feed without bickering as to who should get the major portion. The food is carried home and regurgitated to the nursemaid and the pups. Without the collective, there's no survival for an individual in a wild dog pack or a sporting team. The wild dogs provide a visual and experiential model that our greatest success comes from mutual aid and cooperation. I hope that everyone really had a great time in the Weekly Wilderness webinar. These are some of the insights that we shared together. And I look forward to you joining me next week and the topic for next week is motivate your inner meerkat. I look forward to you sending me your email if you would like to join in for next week so I can respond and send you the Zoom link. These webinars are free, so please join in and let's have a great discussion together around motivating your inner meerkat. Bye for now.